Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Maya. And my kings, we are still going to be keeping one another on track when it comes to this whole retaining thing. You know, you guys are practicing semen retention for a very high reason. And it is my duty, and I've really made that commitment to myself, to keep you guys on track. And, you know, this maybe isn't something you guys necessarily need, but it's something that I hold with such sacredness and I see the power within what you guys are participating in. And listen, I'm a participant as well, you guys. I've been retaining my sexual energy for almost six months now. And with me doing this, I have completely transformed my life. I've truly shifted into my authentic self by remembering the power within. And that power truly comes from, you guys, guess what? Your sexual energy, which is your life force energy, which is the very conduit for yourself to master in this life. If you don't have control over your sexual urges, especially as a man, you will not prosper very far in this life. You may think that a short-term void is nothing. It's, it's a part of being a human being. We like to feel good. But what has happened in today's society, you guys, is we strive to feel good way too much. And I'm not saying that feeling good is a bad... Feeling good is great. But when you are avoiding the parts of yourself that need just your attention. And guess what? Sometimes these parts of ourselves are very uncomfortable and deeply rooted within our own undeservability, unworthiness, etc. So with semen retention, you guys, you are really, with you retaining your, your semen, you are recalibrating yourselves to the very remembrance of the God within. This naturally happens when you allow yourself to hold in the most powerful energy upon this planet. And I will continue to preach this, you guys. I don't care who in your life right now isn't supporting you on semen retention. I will be that person. I will stand by your guys' side and say, guess what? You guys are changing the masculine collection. And I don't even know if y'all are aware of it. That's the thing. So I really hope you guys wake up with purpose every single day, knowing what you are doing. We have been so disconnected from the sacredness, you guys, of sex that it's been controlling us human beings. And when we are controlled by the most powerful force on this planet and we aren't controlling it, it can leave destruction wherever we go. And that's just the truth. So, you know, if you're allowing your, your urges to control the women you pick, the women you sleep with, the corn sites you participate in, um, if you're constantly needing to feel good all the time, you are missing out on the true sacredness upon what it means to be a human being and you are actually avoiding yourself within your own being when you constantly need to have sex when you constantly have to masturbate when you constantly have to look outside of yourself to feel something why don't you just sit down and feel your life force energy moving through you have you ever done that now, listen, you guys, I'm not a man. I know. But uh, I feel like you guys have a lot more self-control than what you are believing that you have. You have to stop allowing energy to control you. And this goes with anything in your life, you guys. Semen retention really allows you to gain a higher perspective upon what it means to be a human being. It awakens you to the levels of consciousness that have been programmed by today's society to make you as a man weak. Men are very powerful, just as women. And our power is accessible in different ways. And we use it in different ways. And that was why, well, that's why that men and women are different. We have different things to contribute to planet Earth. Some come more naturally than others. A woman has a very profound sense of intuition. And with me retaining my sexual energy, you guys, I've developed this really strong intuition that I trust and I follow and I will never discount that energy. And what you guys have is powerful leadership capabilities, powerful. 
Your ancestors led society, fought wars for our sake. But we are fighting wars not for the betterment of society. We are fighting with the very thing that does not need our attention. Do you know what I mean by that? You're giving attention to these sites, to your urges, and we have to flip that script. You have to stop giving your attention to these things, you guys. You have to start giving attention to your purpose work every day, to bettering yourself as a man, to contributing something to society other than leaking your energy out to things that are meant to keep you weak as a man. And they're everywhere. You got to even be careful, you guys out there, about what you put in your body, what you feed yourself, what you feed yourself within, yes, food, but also with media. What are you seeing every single day? What's programming you? Is it God? Is God reprogramming you? Is your higher power reprogramming you? Are you going to allow your semen inside of you to instruct you into a higher realm? That is within you and it's not within a woman. That's a good start. That's a really great start. By asking yourself more questions. And not these alpha men what to do. That's instructing men into weakness. And that shit's not okay with me either. Don't listen to these men saying that your purpose is within how many women you sleep with. That shit is disgusting. I'm going to be really honest, you guys. If you want a high value woman in your life, stop sleeping around with anything that comes your way. Start having more self-respect for yourself. It's not empowering sleeping around with multiple bodies to gain some sort of validation within yourself as a man because women want to sleep with you. Women nowadays are just as broken as men because a true woman would not even want to sleep around all the time. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. We're misusing sexual energy for other people to profit off of our soul. Ooh, what about that? That's facts. Your guys' semen, okay, is like God's glue. God's glue. What are you using that powerful glue? What are you allowing to stick to you? That's what happens when you plant your seed on inside of someone or using the energy of a corn site to stimulate sexual energy. You're gluing yourself to these things. Semen is God's glue. So whatever you're using to solidify gluing yourself to something or someone that's sticky, that also makes your internal state a little sticky, a little sticky icky. Which is why it's so powerful to put the glue stick down. So to stop sticking yourself to things that you do not want to be stuck to. You know you are able to discern, right? You know you are able to create the life of your dreams, right? You know that you actually have purpose as a man, right? Stop giving your attention away to things that make you feel like shit every day. Start retaining that seed to gain infinite knowledge from the creator that is within your cells. You want more health in your life? You want more wealth in your life? You want more purpose every day to wake up to? Start claiming it then. And stop blaming yourself or people, or whatever past shit you signed up for, stop allowing it to control you. Each day is a new day. Each day, you have every single right to be the man you want. But you're so used to putting on the skin suit of the past. You have to see yourself in a new light. By you holding in your own glue, you are actually sticking yourself inside of an internal world that you will not get lost in. You want to be stuck to God. You want to be stuck to a higher purpose. So use that semen inside of yourself to stick to things that you actually want to see manifest in your external world. But you got to dis, 
engage yourself, disassemble yourself from the external world for a bit. You got to cut these sights out the out your life. Cut these sights out your life. Cut these things that are just taking your energy all the time. Stop bitching about you being depleted as a man and start taking action. Start being okay, being uncomfortable. If you use sex to fill an emotional void that you are scared shitless to feel by using and manipulating your sexual energy to feel better, you are not doing yourself a service. You are you are avoiding yourself. And people avoid themselves by tuning into sexual energy because it feels good. But what goes up must come down. So that climax, I hope it feels good for a short short second because you're going to come back down to reality real quick (laughs) and you might actually feel a little bit worse about yourself because you knew in that moment that was not to your highest good but we choose things that we think are to our highest good just because they feel good no you guys sometimes the things that are of our highest good feel really shitty feel like uncomfortability in the body We're not supposed to always feel good all the time. And that's the biggest disservice to yourself to think. That's not signing yourself up to succeed. You practicing semen retention is allowing yourself to gain the control of the very energy that you need to solidify a purpose in your life. You're retaining energy. You're calibrating to a higher frequency, which will actually attract to you the people you, you'd you actually want to have in your life, the circumstances, even the state of mind you want to embody by first mastering the mind. And that's what semen retention is. You're mastering the thing that's keeping you weak, which is your thang dang Don't allow the head of your dick to control the infinite magic stick. You have a magic stick, a magic wand, you guys. And your your semen actually holds such value. And it's really a connection to spirit. And it's very sad that we are not aware of this. And we can't own up to that fact that we are sacred beings. That our sacred fluids are a part of the infinite. How'd you think you got here? from your semen. See past the illusions that keep coming up on your day. You gotta cut some stuff out of your life, you guys. You gotta start allowing yourself to feel empowered in having the choice to discern what is best for you. And if you keep on participating in sexual desires all the time, You may be avoiding the very desire your soul is craving that is actually just you returning back inside of your wholeness and not constantly fragmenting yourself onto sites, onto women, just for you to feel good for a second. Stop wasting your life. You have so much life inside of you. And guess what? You retaining your seed, you will be reminded of that. You will start having a lot more energy throughout your day. You will start being able to actually discern what is meant for you and what is not. Because you are able to tell the contrasting essence that is within your own ability to regain connection to the spirit within. So then you can actually discern from that state and not a low calibrational state that has been keeping you in trouble within the weaknesses that are put on men's trails. You must up-level yourself. You forgetting. You not waking up to your power. That's actually a part of this human experience, you guys. We have to disconnect to reconnect. So you practicing semen retention, you're connecting again. You're connecting to the truth of who you are. Maybe you're connecting to your purpose work. Maybe you're using your energy to serve you and not another person or other sites. 
you have value within your semen. Semen is the seed of man. So be careful upon who you put your seed into. View your sexual energy as God's land. And when you take ownership of the land that has been given to you inside of your soul, and you stop allowing trespassers on your land, and you become the gatekeeper of your soul, your land must prosper. Be more intentional. See yourself more in a higher lens than maybe what you've identified to in the past. It's a choice, you guys. We have choice every single day. So what are you choosing every single day? You can create whatever you want in this life, okay? Your dreams, your aspirations, your purpose work, the woman of your dreams. Stop not believing in that. Stop it. Start using all that powerful life force energy to direct you into the future, the future that you're destined to live. The leadership that is within you, you must lead yourself if you want another person to respect your leadership. And if you say, I don't know how to lead myself, Maya, because every time I've tried, I've led myself down the path of weakness, that's okay. You saying that is a step in the right direction. Hand it over to the higher power. Stop, stop handing it over to these sites, to the darkness that's keeping you entrapped in a darkness within your own soul. Shine your light onto the things that scare you. Hold yourself in more compassion for the programming that men have been set up to assemble within themselves as truth. Shit's not true. You know truth from lies. Stop believing in the lies that have been told to you in disguise. Because guess what? God will only speak love and light and fill your body up with energy that you can tell is powerful. Whatever weakness you feel is because you still are holding yourself, maybe some aspects of yourself, in low calibration. Break free. You can break free when you say, I've had enough. And you disassemble the handcuffs around your hands that you think you have. They ain't locked, baby. <laughs> you can just take them off whenever you want. And move forward. And start creating. Yeah, that's it. That's it for today, you guys. I love you guys. And I will continue to support you on the semen retention journey. And know that it is truly up to you. Whatever you think you will gain out of this semen retention, you will. Power of belief is the most powerful thing as well. And when you use the power of belief with your life force energy, you will create magic. You will create manifestations. Just don't give up on yourself. Be easy on yourself, but also know that on the other end of a weakness, it is the most fulfilling purpose work you can touch into by maybe not touching yourself for a little bit, but but touching into your internal multidimensional state that is living within the quantum realms of your mind that knows no confides, that knows no weakness, but only knows your true magnificence. So on that note, I love you guys. I care about you. Give it a like if you like today's video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think and I will see you in my next video. Bye.